here I am at the nursery to grab just a small bag of soil so I can start my zinnia. Yay! And Amber should have definitely come with me because I want to buy everything. Look at these adorable Christmas tree things, the Norfolk pines. I love them. And look, they're 50% off. So which one do I want? That one? Or that one? I don't know, this is bad. I want them. Not even a million dollars. They're only they're not that much. They're not. I swear. Perfect. They're beautiful. We love them. Can you see the fluffy flowers? Oh my god, save me from myself. Alrighty, I had to delete a whole bunch of files in order to record any more video. He's 50% off. I can allow myself this purchase of this adorable Christmas tree like guy. This orchid smells amazing. It's a miracle I'm making it out of here without spending all my money. Holy, I'm leaving with only seed starting mix and my one plant baby. Unfortunately, they didn't have their Dahlia tubers out and they had no fever few, so. All right, back in the car. It's freezing cold. Got my baby here. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go! Drive, drive, drive! Well, that's cool. I like how this works. I had to narrow down the list. Arena Red, Arena Apricot, Arena Gold, Arena, no, Corelli Light Pink, and Voyage First Love, and Voyage Purple, and Apricot, and Blue, and Green. Oh, but Black Pearl, Roseanne Black Pearl, a classic. This is narrowed down, everybody. This is what I do. I don't like Sheridan's seed starting mix, but they kept their pro mix for seed starting outside and it could have bugs in it and I didn't want that. So I got a small bag of their seed starting mix and we'll roll with it. I always recommend to pre-moisten your soil because if you water it afterwards, you find that it sucks up a surprising amount and you end up with your cells half full. I definitely also recommend to always bottom water your trays, which means to fill, you know, that white tray there with water and let the cells suck up the moisture from underneath. That way uh, you don't dislodge your seeds if you go to water from the top of the watering can. Definitely matters a lot less when you have like actual plants there, but you really don't want to dislodge your seeds, and these seeds are tiny. This is some time later, and of course I've misplaced my plant tags I purchased for this exact purpose, and so I'm reusing this recycling container to make myself some new plant tags. for germination. I tested, or these were tested in 2022. I bought them last year. You can see the first package said 94% germination rate. The second package only says 86% germination rate. So you can use this information to help you determine how much of each seed to plant. For the ones that have lower germination rates, I'm going to go ahead and plant a little bit extra.
Mantis are notoriously difficult to grow. I've read a lot about them, but never actually grown them myself. So we'll see how this goes. Happy birthday, little guys! 